in this lecture, we're going to talk about how one can frame the thinking about operations by thinking about what's called a system model or the systems model or the system model framework about how what an organization is. It operates as a system. Let's talk about what we mean by this. At the heart of the operations is a transformation process, a transformation from inputs to outputs. The system itself, the operations of a business, what a business is about, is it, it converts what comes in through the front door and takes it out the back door or the reverse. It comes in the back door and is, comes out the front door to customers. Inputs are the resources. This includes people, that is labor, money, materials, raw materials, and energy. And these are all converted through a transformation process into outputs. These are the goods and the ideas that result from the conversion of the inputs inside the organization. Oper operations managers control the process by taking measurements, that is feedback from what the process is, at various points in the transformation process, comparing them with previously established standards. If there are any deviations, the managers can then create or take corrective action. Let's look at this systems model. Essentially, the systems model talks about inputs going through a transformation process, creating outputs. The outputs go into a feedback process. You look at the control standards. You make sure that the customer, whatever, is happy with what they got out of the outputs. You process that all together. You improve the input process. You improve the transformation process. You improve the output process. There's a continuous flow of information, goods, and services through this transformation process. You could see in this particular case, the transformation process combines inputs that are used in predetermined ways. In this particular case, land, labor, capital, that we were talking about, those all are brought in through the system using various different kinds of equipment, administrative process, organizational capabilities, um, knowledge management, software, technology, whatever, to create some sort of a product, which, which can be a service and moves it into this output process. The figures on this slide shows how the transformation process of the operations management function works to ensure that the customers receive what they're looking for and as events change those outputs, that some corrective action is taken through this feedback process and cycle. That's the continuous system operations. To ensure that this process generates quality and produces effectively the outputs that's trying to be created, operations managers control the process by measuring it along the way, getting feedback at various points in the process, and comparing them to a standards that you're trying to accomplish. If there is any deviation from what's expected, you can look at what their expectation model, plus you can look at the inputs, you can look at the transformation process. 